yeah, you can't see anything right now. It is super foggy. We're trying to go out and get some god dang fish in the water. We're trying to get some god dang fish out of the water. And the ice conditions are prime. You can drive the truck right out, which is awesome. All I gotta do is drive my truck out, drill some holes, pop up the shack, and get some lines wet. Let's get it. Barely got started and I already forgot my god dang waxies. If you can't tell what's going on here, I don't think you know what's going on. But we out here, oh my hell, it's dumb. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're out here. Trying to do some ice fishing. Fired up the shack, got the heater ripping. And it's a good day for it. Probably 10 degrees, maybe. Probably not even, but plans to do some multi-species ice fishing. Going after some walleye, uh, panfish, big perch, jumbos, maybe a foot long, maybe some footballs, big bluegills. I mean, whatever we can catch. Yeah, it's, it's cold. But I think we can catch some fish, maybe. Gotta clean the slush. Yeah, that's good enough. And I got an extra secret special jig that I'm only gonna show the viewers here and anybody that asked me. But these, uh, it's like a, I don't know what you even call it, moon jig. It's Widowmaker's version of a moon jig. It's a little Wonder Bread colored majig, if you know what I'm saying. And these suckers go hard on this lake. So, I come up here last weekend, I believe, used this sucker, and uh, caught some fish. I don't know why I didn't record a video. I had plans of it, but I just didn't do it. Maybe I'll fire in a highlight reel or something, show you what I caught right here. And uh, I'll show you how the old jig looks. Just beat, absolutely trashed. Not much paint left on it, so that's why I'm tying on a freshie. Set that right there, try not to lose it. Another little fun fact, I actually caught a walleye, nice like 16 incher, on this jig with a wax worm. So that's kind of neat. Gives a guy hope, you know, that you just come out here and freaking smoke whatever you want out of the water with whatever you got on your rod. Coming in fast. Oh, come on, dude. Take it. Oh, he's nice. We got him. Oh, he's big. He's big. He's big. Oh, big, 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 big. Nice, nice, nice. Fatty. That's a nice fatty perch. Probably 10 inches, maybe? Oh! Fish are quite... You know, I got this bump board. We'll see how big he actually is. I'm guessing someplace 9 to 10 inch. Eh, it's like just that 9. But that's a nice, nice healthy, chunky... Chunky fish. He'll eat. I came up on this lake uh, last weekend. Yeah, I, th I think I already told this story. But I came up here last weekend. And it was cold last weekend too. So I was just kind of being lazy. I drilled a second hole in the shack. So I just basically had my live scope, my jigging hole. And then I put another hole to my right a couple feet. And just did a slip bobber and a minnow. And I didn't catch a fish. Like, nothing wanted that minnow. So, I'm not even going to try messing around with minnows. Go and buy a bunch of them, and then you don't catch anything off them, and it just makes you mad. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hooked up. Ooh, crappy. Crappy, crappy, crappy. 
That's kind of a little guy. This was not the mark that I originally saw. But he's also not an eater. Down he goes. Another thing that I've been messing up on over the years, you put up a pop-up shack, you have to have a lawn chair. It's like the golden rule now. Sitting on a bucket all day long, no backrest. Like this thing, I could take a nap in it if I wanted. Well, I hate to say it, it's only been here 30 minutes and we're about to enter snack time. Mm. I can't even get these open. Oh, yeah. We're ripping some gummy lifesavers today. Good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Hey, we got our gill. I was just playing on my phone, not even paying attention. We got ourselves a dang bluegill. Come freaking the skirt and out of nowhere. There we go, fish. Ooh, crap it, crap it, crap it. I swear, this is the exact same crappie I caught before. It's not big. It's like a little eight incher. Oh, no, 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 get in there, get in there. Here we go. There we go, heavy fish. Heavy fish, heavy fish, heavy fish. Oh my God. Oh, holy sh oh, oh. Dude. Okay. That right there is what you call a freaking tank of a crappie. Let me tell you what. I was, the funny part is I was just saying how I haven't found any big crappies in this lake in a long time. Well, I found them, baby. They were right here the whole time. Ooh, another little crappie. God, this guy is tiny. No. Fish on. And it's just a little coffee. You're probably having a hard time seeing because I'm even having a hard time seeing. Because it's getting dark. It's not like dark dark, but the sun is setting and the visibility is going down fast. This is a time when you stay out on the lake for an extra 30 minutes. And this is when you can catch some nice crappie and whatnot. Well, that wasn't quite the case, but... I mean, I had fun, caught some fish, and I had a pretty decent time. It was really cold, so I didn't expect to have like an absolute beat down with this big cold front that come through. But, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, I guess it's whatever. And I'll see you guys next video.